Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucy's Library. We are so happy to be out here in the garden with you. I hope you're outside too, enjoying some fresh air. We have went for a little walk, so we're all snugly and ready for a story. We went to a really nice bookstore and we found this awesome book called Daisy and Josephine by Melissa Gilbert. I bet some of your parents might know Melissa Gilbert. Okay, so sit back and relax like Lucy. Put your listening ears on as we, we read Daisy and Josephine. Here we go. Daddy was Daisy's altogether favorite person. As far back as Daisy could remember, her daddy was there making her pancakes, giving her tickles and squeezes, Daddy was famous. People all over the world asked him to come sing and dance and play for music for them. But to Daisy, he was just Daddy. Daisy do, I love you from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and every freckle in between. Daisy went everywhere with Daddy. Everywhere Daisy went, her teacher, Mrs. Miniver, went too. Mrs. Miniver was kind of tall. She had pretty hands and smelled of roses. She taught Daisy all her lessons, and when it was time to go on the road with Daddy, Mrs. Miniver picked up their schoolroom to go with them. New York, Miami, Las Vegas, there were lots of shows and people to meet. And even though Daisy loved her cozy family, she was lonely. Sometimes she wished she had a friend to keep her company. Every night, Daddy would snuggle into with Daisy in his arms and sing her a special song. And Daisy loved to listen to the sound of Daddy's big, strong voice. But she was too shy and too nervous to sing along. Daisy, Daisy, tell me your answer do. I'm half crazy over the love of you. Now that's an old song. And one evening, just before going on the road, Daisy heard a light tap, tap, tap on the door. Daisy do, it's Daddy and I have a surprise for you. And there was Daddy holding the funniest little creature Daisy had ever seen. Daisy, meet Josephine. Oh, Daddy, is it a cat? Is it a piglet? What is it, Daddy? None of the above, Daisy do. Josephine is a puppy, Daddy said. But Josephine didn't look like a puppy that she had ever seen. Josephine had no tail, giant ears, and a smushy nose. And Josephine's bottom teeth struck out so far that Daisy could even see a bit of Josephine's teeny pink tongue peeking out. Oh, what do we know that's like that? Why don't you two go out and play before it gets dark, Daddy said. Yes, she said, Daisy said, and she took Josephine down the back steps, but Josephine wouldn't budge, so she had to scoop her up in her arms and carry her out. Don't go further than the back door where I can see you, Mrs. Minier called after Daisy as she walked out the door. So, okay, let's play a game. Daisy grabbed the nicest stick she could find and tossed it. Fetch, Josephine. But Josephine would not fetch. Hmm. Instead, Josephine got comfy in a lawn chair. Sounds a bit familiar. Look, Josephine, said Daisy, a squirrel. Let's go chase it. But Josephine did not want to chase the squirrel. She sniffed some flowers instead. Sounds familiar. Daisy threw a bright bouncy ball. Catch, Josephine! But Josephine did not want to catch the ball. She batted a butterfly instead. Well, you don't want to fetch or chase, you don't want to catch. What do you want to do, asked Daisy. Play dress up, said Josephine. Wait, 
"You can talk?" asked Daisy. "We、oui. can." You speak French? Daisy shook her head. No. Well, I will teach you. You see, I am a French bulldog, so I can speak French. Would you have any clothes I might wear? Asked Josephine, very politely. All of the great designers of clothes are French, and I just love clothes. Oh, please! Won't you find me something stylish to put on? Said Josephine. Um, we?、Oui? Said Daisy. So, as you can see in her room, Daisy pulled out outfit after outfit: plain shirts, plain pants, plain jeans. There's this and this and these and that. No, 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 my Cherie said Josephine. Let's see what else we can find. Do you have anything sparkly? Oh, Lucy, I know you like that. We've seen you in your tutu. Oh, how about these? Asked Daisy. Oh, yes, said Josephine. And this? Most definitely, said Josephine. Oh, and what about these? Asked Daisy. We、oui, said Josephine. Voila! Now this is style. Let's find you some clothes that are très chic. That's French for very stylish. But Josephine, it's almost bedtime, and I have to put my jammies on. Oh, Daisy, even pajamas can be stylish and fun. Let's see what they do. So she puts her pajamas over her head with Daisy's help, of course, and she puts on a belt. Ta-da! Said Daisy. Très bien. Just one more thing. Oh, a tiara. Perfect. Voila! Hooray for the pajama princess! Hooray for the pajama princesses! Said Daisy. Just then, there was a knock on the door. Tap tap tap. Daisy, do. Are my girls ready for bed? Oh yes, Daddy said Daisy as she threw her arms around Daddy's neck for a big squeeze. Daddy picked up Daisy and Josephine, and his arms and tucked them both in bed, snuggled close with Daddy and Josephine, and Daddy read them both a beautiful bedtime story and sang them a good night song. I love you, my beautiful Daisy do. I love you too, Daddy. I love you, Josephine. Je t'aime aussi. I love you too," whispered Josephine. The room was still and oh, so quiet. Daisy, will you sing me a lullaby?" asked Josephine. Daisy took in a deep breath and shyly, quietly began to sing to her new friend. Josephine, Josephine, tell me your answer, do. I'm half crazy over the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon a seat of a bicycle built for two. Well, that was an old-time story. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you put down your phones and TV sets and go to the library and visit Lucy with her friends. Okay? And as we say at the end of each of our story. We say, "Good job, Miss Lucy. Good job." Our Josephine would say, "Trebian."